24 hours ago um, I was here and uh, it looked like uh, this weather was here to stay for uh, quite a while I woke up this morning it's still dark when I woke up but uh, then the next thing I noticed the Sun started to rise I hadn't seen the Sun uh, very much in the last five weeks I was sitting outside having my morning coffee and here comes the Sun so I've come back down to Lamai Beach and as you can see a beautiful sunrise. Uh, the seas have calmed down quite a bit. They're still um, high on the beach. They still haven't gone back out to sea very much. It's still only a little gap between the buildings, the hotels, the restaurants and the, uh, the seashore. But as you can see down there it's not as rough the waters aren't running fast uh, down from the mountains uh, yesterday when I was taking the video the waters were flowing down from the mountain uh, very fast now it's quite still still wide still deep but uh, it stopped flowing it's just stagnant I suppose and look, uh, the clouds are disappearing over the mountains. So, I hope this is the end of it. I've just looked at the, the weather forecast and it's got uh, a little uh, emblem with sun, cloud and rain. Uh, not like the last five weeks with just thunderstorms and a cloud and rain. So, Perhaps this is the turning point. I, I do hope so. Uh, it has to come. So hopefully today will be uh, a better day and tomorrow even better than that. But it's so nice just to see the sun there. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. things you see uh, on Lamai Beach. That's a new one. I think, I think that's something like a druid. Is that what you call them? Druids? It's definitely not Buddhism, that's for sure. So that concludes my walk along Lamai Beach. And uh, yeah, I must say, it's so different now. I feel a lot more confident. It's still going to be a long time. It's a long road ahead. Uh, before anything's going to get uh, a lot better but it's a start um, I suppose now comes the big clean up there's floods uh, which will now uh, hopefully just go away because there's no more water running down the mountains to, to um, make it worse um, but the problem will be on the small roads not the big roads they've just resurfaced the uh, main road around the island but the, uh, the little roads leading from the main road 
and now which were flooded or been inundated with heavy rain are now going to be full of potholes because uh, uh, the water would have uh, loosened all the tarmac and uh, that's going to be a big job to, to fill all them and I'm going to have to be very careful uh, riding my motorbike with these potholes especially at night uh, soy dogs are coming back out as well they've been staying in because of the storms it's been scared stiff and probably very hungry there's not wasn't a lot of food around for them to scavenge so I'll head back home I might even take a swim in the pool today 24 hours ago it was all doom and gloom as I say I'm a glass half full type of person not half empty um, so now I'm getting my confidence back and I'm starting to think yeah okay uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought yesterday um, the sun's shining the waters have stopped flowing the stopped running down from the mountains you know, we've had 24 hours now probably or 20 hours without rain uh, sun shining still gonna be a while before all the water from the mountains comes and goes into the sea and this goes back to being just a trickle but uh, we'll see what happens but in the meantime it's so good yeah I've come back out uh, it's the afternoon now I think I'll uh, take a little walk along Lamai Beach see what's open what's not open uh, weather's changed a little bit uh, it's starting to get a little bit of rain but it did say showers so I'm not too worried about that um, it'll take a few days I don't think it's just going to disappear overnight probably going to get some showers in a few days and then uh, hopefully get back to uh, the normal Kosamui summer some soy dogs there relaxing in the sunshine Oh, there's plenty of soy dogs. This is right at the uh, southern end of the beach, Lamai Beach. That's the No Stress restaurant. You've seen me here before. I, one of the places I like to come, and you can see the water mark there uh, where the tide has come up. They had to take all their chairs up. They just opened up again um, a few months ago because they could see that things were improving a little bit. Uh, but they've shut down again now with the uh, problems of uh, the storms. But you can see their beaches have been just about washed away, which they would, would have tables and chairs down here before. Um, so there's been a lot of erosion. But uh, hey, that's the, that's the least of their problems, a little bit of erosion now. It's, it's still got the beach, it's just um, not much of it. Uh, this hotel is closed, beautiful hotel, um, but this one's closed up, has been closed for quite a while. As are uh, most of the hotels along the beach. This is uh, how it was five weeks ago. It's funny how you, um, how you feel better when you wake up in the morning and the sun's shining, how it affects your day. Uh, you know, this, I feel lightheaded I feel as if uh, a weight's been lifted off my shoulders even though compared to most Thai people I, I didn't have much weight on my shoulders it's just every morning waking up to rain not knowing what to do with your day maybe I'm just a spoilt farang uh, you know I expect too much probably that is it I mean there is difference in cultures difference in where you look at life I, I tend to think you know when things go bad I think why me as a lot of people do, you know, you think, oh, why this happened to me? But it happens to everyone. The weather wasn't just a cloud over my head. <laughs> it was over the whole of Samui, and a lot of people were doing it tougher than I was, that's for sure. This is the Aloha Hotel, and I've never known why they called it the Aloha. I mean, Aloha is a Hawaiian, as far as I know. Uh, I think it's Hawaiian for hello. This is an abandoned villas, uh, they abandoned them a long time ago, they've just left them, uh, they're derelict now, but 
take a lot to uh, bring back to their former days. Uh, this building here, I did a, a walk through not so long ago actually, uh, when I first came back to St. Louis. Um, and it's got a lot worse since then with the storms. I stayed here actually when I uh, first came to St. Louis uh, in 2017. And it was a really nice hotel then. But uh, obviously it's seen better days now. Um, I think the whole place will have to be demolished. Perhaps the, uh, the bricks there could be okay. Maybe just need to replace the roof. Uh, but these buildings here, these are all wooden buildings and uh, they've been open to the elements. You can see the roofs falling off. Um, and because they're made of wood, everything inside is ruined. Uh, you'd need to knock it all down and start again, I think. But somebody will pick up a bargain. Um, some, someone from Europe or China or USA will come over with a bit of money and snap something like this up uh, once they know that uh, they can make some money from it. The swimming pool there uh, will be okay. Like most swimming pools, it'll probably just need draining out, put a new pump, uh, fill it with chemicals and away you go. So that lady there, she's uh, He's collecting shells for breakfast, uh, little hoy as they call them here, the little seafood uh, things inside them. Um, it's a very cheap way to eat. This place is closed too, um, but they've kept it in good repair. That's one good thing about this place. Uh, they have managers on site and they're uh, still maintaining everything. They've just isn't worthwhile them opening up for uh, customers as yet, so they're uh, just maintaining it. Come to the Hive, the Hive Hotel. I think this has just been taken over by some um, Australian people. I think three friends, three or four friends. They own the only uh, chilling here in Lamai and the chilling in Lipanoi, which is where I sometimes go for. Sunset dinner. That's what, that side of the island where it's at. But I think they've just, uh, from what I hear, they've just taken over this. Uh, so they are obviously confident things are coming back. Not like the heady days of 2019. This uh, strip of uh, restaurants, bars. Um, was very very popular. This end of the beach, which is more or less the middle of the beach I suppose, was a very popular popular area for tourists. Um, but most of these have shut down now. Um, we've been closed for quite a while. And it's such a shame because they were very good. Um, you, know, you would see all the tables and chairs outside and there'd be lots and lots of people sitting there from breakfast time right the way through to the evening. Um, but unfortunately they've all shut down. This one place here, this is probably one of the best restaurants on the beach uh, before Covid. And this downstairs bar on the beach has just opened as well. Two o'clock in the afternoon and goes through till night time. have live music in there sometimes not recently but they used to have it before covid but probably come back again one day uh, up there's a swimming pool which belongs to the restaurant and the hotel behind it this is the lamai inn and uh, they've haven't been sat on their hands waiting for covid to go they've been very busy uh not with um people stopping there, they've ha hardly had any uh, tourists staying here, but they've been rebuilding and uh, renovating. They've built this
this uh, new restaurant bar area where those yellow cushions are. So they've opened up uh, this little area today, or the last few days, because it wasn't open a few days ago. So they've opened this up. Uh, hopefully to try and entice some of these uh, tourists in. It looks really nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, go in there soon. Looks like that's the owner. Yeah, so they've got a restaurant there, and this will be a little bar. It'll do well once tourists start to come back. They'll make a lot of money. In a fair play to them. Um, you know, they haven't walked away they, they, and, and just let it go to wreck and ruin. They've uh, expanded and, and made things better. So they're confident. They're, they've got the confidence that things will change in the future. I showed you the big hotel further down there yesterday morning that's open. Um, the name escapes me now, but... Uh, that's about the only one that's open between here, this end of uh, Lamai Beach, and where the uh, water comes out uh, from the, the mountains. That's uh, uh, the bamboo. That's quite busy. One, two, three, four, five people in there. But it's very popular with uh, local Farang one of the very few places that uh, is open from breakfast right the way through till evening time. The place next door is open but I never see anyone in there, it's not as popular as bamboo. So that's about it. Um, there are other bars and restaurants that are closed down. I know they're closed so I won't go any further. The only, as I say, the only place that is open is the white building um, down there. Which is, yeah, you can just see it there. That's the only place that's open uh, for a hotel. So I'll do my little advertisement while I'm walking back to my motorbike. If you haven't already done so, please push the subscribe button. It'll cost you nothing. Thank you told you many times but it will help me a lot because uh, it means that I'll get more recognized on YouTube also push the thumbs up button that also helps a lot and if you know anyone who may like my channel uh, or wants to find out a little bit about what it's like to live in Thailand not just as a retiree but as an expat or holiday maker um, push the link and forward the link to your friend or family member, whoever it is. So that's all for now. Um, nice to end on a positive note. Things are looking better. I think uh, Koh Samui is going to come out of this soon, but not big style. I think Koh Samui is going to... Uh, for the next year is going to struggle I suppose and, and but it's going to have some customers as long as as long as Covid doesn't uh, spike again and the government shut the country down if it opens up mid-January I think they'll slowly slowly get more people people will get more confidence to come here for holidays the ties will get more confidence to open up shops and businesses and there's a lot of bargains so if they've got a, anyone who's got a little bit of money stashed, they can come and get a bargain. They can buy a, a business or just rent a business for low rent and hopefully uh, make a good business from it, ready for when Thailand uh, gets back to its glory days. So I'm going to head for my motorbike. I'll walk up this way. I just pointed out this restaurant to you a little while ago with a swimming pool. Um, Oh wow, I haven't been here for two weeks but they've cleaned the pool, it was green algae before, um, it was terrible but they've, uh, they've got it up and running and they've cleaned everything up, wow, these must be thinking of that things are changing, so 
I came here two weeks ago, all the windows all the windows were open, water getting in, no one was bothered about it. It was just a mess. Uh, but they've cleaned it all up. And they've got the uh, restaurant not set up, but they've cleaned it and they've got some tables and chairs ready for when it opens. So that's really good. I think I'm getting some confidence. This was the bar area and where you ordered your food from and the kitchen was at the back and it's part of the Rich Resort Hotel which is uh, they own this side of it as well as the hotel at the back but the Rich Resort's closed as well as this everything's closed but it looks like they're getting ready to um, open soon Obviously, the tattoo shop was closed but I don't think it'll take long to get a tattoo artist in if they um, there's plenty of them sitting at home now with no work so once Thailand opens up, someone will go and grab that, I'm sure. Oh, while I think of it, these ATMs, I just add little bits as I'm walking. Where some, something takes uh, my interest. ATMs here are very good. Um, every bank has a different colour. You know, like back in the UK, it's like it's just an ATM and you've got to get up close to see the, the logo of Barclays or... Na National Westminster or Lloyd's uh, but here they're all coloured so yellow is for Krungsgree um, well, I can't remember the other colours but I'll tell you what I'll do I'll put it on the uh, uh, I'll put a little uh, thing on this video with all the bank colours but it is good because when I'm driving along the road um, and if I need some money I've just got to look out for a colour so bright, I, I might, I'm Krungsgree so if as soon as I see a bright yellow ATM, I know I can stop and get some money. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.